We gather together and continue to pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather in faith and open our hearts and trust to God's great gift and promise of forgiving love as we confess our sin and our brokenness. Lord Jesus, you are the King of Martyrs. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, by your cross you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, by your resurrection you raise us from the mind. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to a richer and more abundant life. In Christ Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up in your church, we pray, O oh, gracious God, the spirit that filled St. Joseph that, as he laid down his life for the sheep, so that through his intercession, we too may be strengthened by the same spirit to not be afraid to lay down our life for others. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever. Yeah. And reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to Titus, Paul, a slave of God, an apostle of Jesus Christ, for the sake of the faith of God's chosen ones and the recognition of religious truth and the hope of eternal life, that God, who does not lie, promised before time began, who indeed at the proper time revealed his word, and the proclamation with which I was instructed by the command of God, our Savior, to Titus, my true child, in our common faith, grace and peace, from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Savior. For this reason I loved you in prayer, so that you might set right what remains to be done, and appoint presbyters in every town as I directed you, on condition that a man be blameless, married only once, with believing children who are not accused of licentiousness or rebellious. For a bishop, a God's steward, must be blameless, not arrogant, not irritable, not a drunkard, not aggressive, not greedy, for sordid gain, but hospitable, a lover of goodness, temperate, just, holy, and self-control, holding fast to the true message as taught, so that he will be able both to exhort with sound doctrine and to refute 
opponents. The word of the Lord. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Not the earth and his fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who can stand in his holy place? He whose hands are scentless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, Lord this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God, his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that comes to see your face. <laughs> alleluia, 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 alleluia. Shine like lights on in the world as you hold on to the word of life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, things that cause sin will inevitably occur. <coughs> but woe to the one who threw the whom they occur. this morning. <laughs> it would be better for that one if a millstone were put around his or her neck and the person be thrown into the sea or for that one to cause these little ones to sin. Be on your guard. If your brother or sister sins, rebuke that one. If the person repents, forgive. If the person wrongs you seven times in one day, and returns to you seven times, saying, I am sorry, you must forgive. The apostle said to the Lord, Increase our faith. Jesus replied, If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you would say to this mulberry tree, Be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. The Gospel of the Lord. be here in the gospel, the second, I believe, of Jesus' most urgent counsels. The first is that we love one another. But in order to do that, we have to be willing to forgive one another. It's impossible to love apart from extending ourselves in forgiveness. Time and time again in the Gospels, Jesus speaks words of forgiveness and emphasizes our need to forgive. For example, in the Our Father, he teaches us to actually pray and ask that God would forgive us as we are willing to forgive one another. Do you really want God to do that? Do you really want God to forgive you as you are willing to forgive 
another. You can only really want that if you're doing it. And then Jesus goes on and emphasizes it by saying, but I say to you, if you do not forgive the sins of your brothers or sisters, your heavenly Father will not forgive you yours either. But I find today's teaching the most difficult about forgiveness. Where Jesus says simply, if your brother or sister comes to you and says, I'm sorry, you must forgive. And if he or she comes seven times in a day and says, I'm sorry, you must forgive. Now, if you're anything like me, on more than one occasion, I have said, I'm not ready. <laughs> the person says, I'm sorry. And I say, I'm not ready. The person says, I'm sorry. And I say, I'll think about it. <laughs> I'll think about it. Now, as I've grown older, I do tend to extend forgiveness when it's asked for and even when not, because I need to do that. <laughs> but, if a person came seven times in a the day, they'd be stretching me. <laughs> they'd be stretching me. And they'd be stretching you as well. And yet Jesus says, that is how we are to forget. We are to demand of ourselves that we stretch and we give and we give and we give in forgiveness because that's the necessary thing to do. Again, I think this is his most difficult teaching about forgiveness. It's unequivocal. If a person comes even seven times in a day and says, I'm sorry, you must forgive. That's quite a teaching to embrace. Let us stand together now as we entrust our prayers to our God. <clears throat> For all members of the church, may we be led by the wisdom of God in our mission to spread the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders and policy makers. May God increase in them the passion to protect the dignity of sanctity of human life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those struggling with illness and despair. May they be strengthened by God's infinite love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those of us gathered here, May God's grace be at work in our lives, that we may bear fruitful witness to the truth of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Today we pray for the healing of Greg Mahalo and for Jean Labou. We pray to the Lord. Lord our prayer. For those who have died, especially for Rose and Frank Stanley, Charla McHenry, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> our gracious and our redeeming God, as we gather in faith, we pray and ask the grace that you would open our ears and our hearts ever more deeply, ever more deeply to the call of your Son, Jesus, <coughs> to be willing to extend ourselves in ever greater and deeper forgiveness. Continue to give us the love and the courage to embrace his call. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Join me now in prayer, my brothers and sisters, <clears throat> that our sacrifice might be acceptable to our gracious and loving God. Amen. May the Lord accept this sacrifice in our hands for the praise and glory of God's name. <clears throat> Most merciful God, pour out your blessing upon these offerings and confirm us in the faith that St. Joseph had professed by the shedding of his blood through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <clears throat> it is truly right and just, our joy and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy God, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> you, therefore, almighty God, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, 
You brought us back to be reconciled, O gracious God, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ Jesus has brought us, we ask you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands. In giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Hey, this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> in a similar way when supper was ended Jesus took the cup again he gave you thanks and praise gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. <clears throat> Celebrating therefore the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Gracious God, most holy, we humbly ask you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people, and may he keep us in communion with, with Francis our Pope, Gerald our Bishop, and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, with Saint Joseph at and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await in blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, Jesus, now and forever, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but to the faith of your church. 
and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, grant us peace. takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us stand together in prayer. <clears throat> May this heavenly table, O gracious God, bestow on us a spirit of fortitude and peace, so that following St. Josephat's example, we may willingly spend our lives working for the honor and unity of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of our God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit Come upon us all and abide forever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.